All right, so if you haven't heard, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Catholic Church in Pennsylvania, or not the Catholic Church, a Catholic agency, foster agency, to be able to discriminate against LGBTQ plus people when it comes to fostering and adopting children. So this video is all about that. If you have not watched my last video, I did this about seven months ago, uh, just go back and watch that. It's like kind of the precursor to all of this, talking about the agency um, discriminating against LGBTQ plus people and how the state of Pennsylvania revoked their, I guess, license to foster children. They took it to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court today ruled in their favor. That's what we're talking about today. So, all right, so I'm at Alex's house right now. It's outside, he's inside working. That's why it's gonna be outside today and there might be the noises of Hollywood. So <laughs> beware, who knows what you're getting today. This morning, I wake up, I check my email and I see that I got an email from someone at CNN of all places. I was like, what's this all about? So I give them a phone call and they said, hey, not sure if you heard, but the Catholic Church rule won their case in the Supreme Court. So I'm gonna recap quickly about all of this. If you haven't watched the last video, go back and watch it. I'll link it up here. Um, basically, the there's a cap, there's an agency, a foster agency in the state of Pennsylvania, specifically, I guess, in Phil Philadelphia, that um, was denying same-sex couples uh, the ability to foster children. So there, this agency, this fostering agency is a faith-based Catholic agency. Um, and they basically have said, we're not gonna allow same-sex people to foster children because it's against our religious, religious beliefs. The state of Pennsylvania or the city of Philadelphia, I am not sure all the exact details, do not crucify me, no pun intended, on all of the facts. If you wanna learn more facts, I'm not a news agency, go read the news. Um, but basically they revoked their right or license to foster saying they are, they are being discriminatory and it's not right. Well, the Catholic Church didn't like this, the agency didn't like this, and uh, they took it, they filed suit and it went all the way to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court today ruled that um, this Catholic agency has the right, because of their religious beliefs, to deny people the right to foster children if they are same-sex couples. That's the gist of it, all right? Man, we did all that in under three minutes. So, here's the problem. First and foremost, you all know that I am Christian. I identify as a gay Christian. <sighs> I don't know how else to say this, but that is not the way of Jesus, okay? Jesus was not someone who denied anyone anything. In fact, I've been hearing this story a lot. I don't know the exact quote. I don't even know exactly where in the Bible it is, but it was. it's talking about how if um, Jesus used the parable of um, having 100 sheep, and if there was one, one sheep that you lost, would you sacrifice those other sheep to go get the one sheep? And his follower, I think he was speaking to John, maybe the disciple, and um, basically, he said, yes, you sacrifice those sheep to go get the other sheep. You know, you don't leave anyone behind. Jesus was not a man who said that we needed to outcast anyone. He spoke of love and that is it. Okay, so citing religious beliefs and things like that, it's just a bunch of BS. That's the first thing. The second thing is where I have a lot more issue with this and the fear that's behind this is when things like this happen in the United States, all it does is it opens the floodgates and it provides reason and gives people like an excuse to spew hate, to be hateful, to discriminate and things like that. So this agency that is an organization, a private organization, um, probably operating under a, a nonprofit, um, is now allowed to literally blatantly openly discriminate based off of their religious beliefs. That then, when the, when the Supreme Court then backs them for that, it gives them the, it gives other people, other organizations, kind of like ammunition to do the same. 
So you have one organization doing it. Now, who knows? We already know that there are many, many states in the United States that don't, don't even allow LGBTQ people to foster, to adopt. So, you know, it's just giving ammunition to those people and other people that are fighting against us to do these things. Another thing, there are 400,000, 400,000 foster kids in the United States. 400,000. I believe Los Angeles County alone gets 40,000 phone calls to the DCFS, uh, you know, hotline number per month. I, it could be 14,000, but I'm fairly certain it was 40,000. 400,000 children in the foster care system. For people that speak so much about loving other people, for people that speak so much about, um, you know, the kids, it's about the kids and we need to make sure the kids are safe. Like, stop thinking that these people are going to harm these children because that's why they're doing it. They're saying this is against our religious right, our religious belief. And we all know that that religion talks so much about, you know, pedophilia and things like that. So my fear is that they think that same-sex couples are going to harm these children, abuse these children, which is not true. Um, so if you have 400,000 children in the system in the United States, why would the Supreme Court be ruling in favor of a perceived constitutional right and not be thinking about the actual children that need homes. We don't have, the numbers don't make sense. There are not enough foster families in existence in the United States to be pushing anyone away, especially parents that now we're in a time where so many LGBTQ people want to be parents and are and actually believe that they can be parents internally in our minds in our emotions believe that we can be parents how dare you push us away e even for the sake of the children that need homes doesn't make any sense and it's wrong and as a christian it is not of the christian faith it is not there's one thing that we are called to do we are called to love everyone and after that called to create followers it's that simple pushing people out is not the way it's not the way at all so the cnn interview didn't happen i guess they they didn't have enough time to do it it was like a last minute thing it's all good whatever um but you know i'm thankful to be part of an agency so aviva i've spoken a little bit about my agency so i'm with aviva family children's services here in los angeles they are the people that you know help me find the placements and get foster children and things like that they are i found out today one of 100 agencies in the united states of 100 in the entire united states that's not a lot that are actually have the like hrc the human rights campaign seal on um you know certification i guess meaning they are totally accepting of all people and lgbtq plus and equality and things like that so i'm really happy to be part of that um be part of them and again like i i didn't even know like when i started this process it was they were just like on a list i think they were the first people on that list i clicked it i went to the website and it all started and spiraled out of control but you know to me honestly real talk this is i don't know if it's like scary but it's I think it just leaves, it lends itself too easily to other organizations and people being able to discriminate so freely based off of a religion. Now, another thing, politically, I am extremely middle, middle of the road. Like, I don't believe in abortion. I don't think it's right, but I don't think that we should, um, like, I have the right to tell a woman what she can do with her body. I don't like m with money and things like that. I don't like taxes, but I see the benefit of some taxes, um, you know, with different things like, like guns, like I'm way more, like I would be so for 
getting rid of guns and being done with guns. I have no problem with never having guns, right? That would be great actually. But I'm also like, mm, why don't we just have like way more reform around guns? I'm very middle of the road politically. What I will say is any agency, you cannot tell me, I guarantee you somewhere this religious agency, foster agency, this Catholic foster agency is utilizing government assistance, programs, or something. I guarantee you they are. I'm sure they are a nonprofit. I'm sure they are. Now, again, I'm speculating, so don't, don't kill me over this, but I'm sure they are. I'm sure they utilize the PPP loan like so many churches did through COVID-19. And here's my thoughts. If you're going to utilize government assistance, if you're gonna utilize the assistance that my tax dollars, queer gay tax dollars pay for, then you do not, then, then you should automatically be revoking your privilege to be discriminatory. That's my thoughts. You don't get to, to use the services of the United States government and also discriminate against anyone that pays for those services. That's my thought around that. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Um, I will say a quick little update. Uh, there was, I guess, two babies this week that I was possibly gonna get. They did require, um, sorry, there's a huge truck going by, but we're almost done this video. They did require Spanish speaking families um, because they need, they need the foster parent to be able to, to communicate with the biological parent so you do have to speak that their language and in LA we know there's lots of Hispanic people that live in Los Angeles and Southern California so there's oftentimes a lot of kids that come through the system and they the families don't speak Spanish so I was not able to be placed with those two babies but here's holding hope that it'll happen this week okay bye I want to know what you guys think in the comments below peace out